I am Tanis Milicevic. I'm 53 years old. I have had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma for 10, 12 years, and I am Mayo Clinic's first CAR-T patient in Florida. Tanis had been living with her lymphoma for many, many years, and because she had failed so many lines of treatment, and her disease was actually progressing and growing in front of our eyes, we needed to move fast. Obviously, my biggest fear was to not be able to spend time with my kids and, you know, that my husband would be left to take care of both of them, and they're young. And I just want to see them graduate school. I want to see them get married. There was certainly a consensus that CAR-T cell therapy was the only treatment left to be tried that could offer a chance. CAR T cell stands for chimeric antigen receptor T cell therapy. And what is involved here is actually obtaining your own white cells called lymphocytes and try to re-engineer them. So it's really retooling the immune system or reteaching the immune system to not only find the lymphoma but be more able to eliminate the disease. I think what's so exciting about CAR T therapy is that it's a highly individualized treatment. It's not only treating lymphoma, it is treating her lymphoma, taking immune cells and targeting them against the patient's own malignancy. No person or anything you read can really tell you what your experience is going to be like. One, two, three. I believed in the doctors. The nurses helped me. I knew it was the right thing to do. I knew this is the step forward. I knew this is the game changer. I had to do it. And now she is in complete remission. There is no signs of any active disease. It's all gone. Wow. Thank you. Beyond the fact that we're giving patients meaningful days with their families and with their loved ones, we can give them actually a chance of potentially getting to the next breakthrough treatment that could be the next cure of cancer. My advice for anybody else who has lymphoma is to know that there's hope, that there's opportunity. It's given me, you know, the chance to live. And, you know, I'm forever grateful.